All right, uh -huh. moving on now. To be forgiven or punished is a still the rigid debates in the country over repentant Boko Haram insurgents as more members of the terrorist group continue to surrender to the Nigerian military. Foremost Northern Group, that's the Arewa Consultative Forum, ACF, has told the federal government to set good example in its fight against insurgency by bringing the repentant Boko Haram members to trial. In a statement, chairman of the forum, that Aldogbe said, an apology is not enough to bring the relief to Nigerians and thousands that were killed and maimed by the insurgents. Meanwhile, a faction of the terror group, the Islamic State of West African Province, ISWAP, says no to ceasefire with Nigeria. But first, let's share some visuals where some repentant Boko Haram members have been conveyed to Meduguri after surrendering. To Jamaa gaso nan kungan su mota guda uku eh za a wuce da su Meduguri sun tuba da fada za a kai su Meduguri ko ku haram ne daga mafa sun tuba mafa local government area Borno state eh muna fatin Allah ya kara mana zaman lafiya a Borno state kasu nan mota uku za a kai su Meduguri da iyalin su da abokanin su da dabbobin su da sunan suna ta kaisawa da mutane sunan suna tafiya jama'a da sunan suna tafiya one by one yan boko haram ne daga mafa sun tuba za a kai su Borno state kun gan su nan mota guda uku Bajlis in Sunday we've been saying it that we need to be careful yes we need to be careful and this advice coming from um, um, how do we that are our consultative forum? I think it makes a lot of sense that you can't just say yes, forgive and forget because <laughs> the people in Borno State right now, people in Meduguri IDPs right now, uh, they don't have husbands, they don't have wives, and their children are missing. How's it they, <laughs> you know, they, they are still traumatized. The, the first person to express concern was the show of Borno. I read a comment yes, on social no. media. Where someone was saying some people are not happy that Nigeria is making progress, and the question I asked is: the, pe the person who authored this um, write-up is he more patriotic? Does he love Nigeria more than Governor Zulum, who is also apprehensive about this matter? Does he love Nigeria more than uh, more than uh, the Shewo Bono, mm. the royal mm. father who has seen? where we are headed. Mm. Does he love Nigeria more than Honorable Satome, who was the head of SEMA in Borno State, who actually received these guys the first time some of them came. came. Mm. And in his, eyes, in his very eyes, in his very eyes, in his very eyes, Satome saw some of them go back into the forest to continue to kill our soldiers. Not to be trusted. So be how do you how do you then things. trust such people? You are planning the radicalization program for them. The people that they subjected to a life of misery in the IDPs, to a life of handouts. Hmm. They can't eat unless they are handed some food I rations, little food can't rations. Go to their farms to cultivate. What have we done for those people? There are still more than 20 IDP camps in Borno State. Hmm. Never mind the fact that the president in uh, June 12, uh, 2020 speech said all the IDPs have returned home. <laughs> they have not returned home. Hmm. There is no home that they return to. In, in, in my Duguri alone, there are more than 20 IDP camps. I say that because I go there regularly. I'm, I'm still going next month, by the grace of God. And all the local government headquarters, we still have IDP camps. People are living from hand to mouth mm. based on the wickedness that these people visited on them. How do you want to reintegrate those people into the society uh, without a well-coordinated program that will ensure that the whole, those host communities genuinely receive them? And you have talked about a girl that was rescued uh, from Boko Haram. 
And after she was thoroughly stigmatized, she went back into Sambisa camp. Mm -hmm. She went back into Sambisa forest. And of course, we've had even the story of uh, Senator Ali Ndume, the mm -hmm. senator who has not been able to go to his hometown, Hambagda, in Goza local government since 2014. He's watching me. He knows I'm not lying. Senator Ali Ndume said, a boy who claimed to have repented yeah. killed his father, yeah. mm -hmm. stole his cattle, mm -hmm. and went back to the forest. Very These guys in this age of phones and all that, Android phones and all that, they sit, when, we, when they, they <laughs> repent in inverted commas, mm -hmm. they then send information to their uh, fellow fighters in the forest. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows how to handle this situation is what is getting the governor of Borno State and other stakeholders to think. What do we do? But if you look closely, if you look closely, mm. the ice swap, which is the deadly Boko Haram, uh, deadly faction, faction. Mm. they refuse to, to, to surrender. Then these ones that are surrender, the remnants of the Shekau group, mm. what they are doing is the real fighters, they are refusing to surrender. They are pushing their wives, their children, and other members of their families who are not active fighters. They are pushing those ones to us. Yes. In the past, those guys lived with them. They cooked for them. They did other things for, for, the, for the fighters. But now they are pushing their wives. Can't you see the huge number of women? That's, that makes sense. Yes. They are pushing them out. They are reluctant to go and surrender to the troops. Only a few of them, actually, sorry. That's why you saw very few weapons. And we have said, okay, why are the gun trucks? Mm -hmm. They cause a lot of damage with gun trucks mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, AAs mm -hmm. that you used to kill mm -hmm. our people. Where are they? They are not surrendering those ones. So we, what we are saying is let's be tactical. Let's, let's, let's be careful the way we handle this situation so that we don't do something that will backfire. This thing has backfired in the past. Mm -hmm. And they ended up back in the bush. So everyone, at least the people concerned, should now uh, sit down and think, what do we do? You will see some very old people. Oh, they are those ones that they are not active fighters. And bicycles. You know? mm -hmm. Yes. So what do we do? And plenty of children and women. See, what do you make of this situation? No, I, I mean, quite frankly, um, what see, the, do see the boy, the two boy. Mm. Mm. It's not a fighter. Mm. And women, plenty of women. That's what they are doing. They're pushing their wives. Go, go. <laughs> so first of there ought to be a well thought out program. Then if anybody comes and says I am Boko Haram and I want to surrender, you can send him back. Take him. I will align my thoughts with that of the Arab Consultative Forum. Put them on trial. Mm -hmm. Let them be convicted. If upon conviction you now want to organize a prison program where they will now be able to Yes, you can do that. Yes. But that they will just come and say, and you integrate them into changed. the system and, like that, and then you are. And you say that they are likely women. Exactly, uh, and, no, you no, see, and then sense. and then yeah. and then you say yeah. that you are you are what, what, you are rehabilitating. Them. You say that they are likely women. Then women they, and old men, exactly, non-fighters. Exactly. Then in the same community, you have somebody whose house has been burnt, whose farm has been destroyed. The person is grieving and, 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 and in sorrow. Yes. And side by side, the person who did who, who committed that havoc on, 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 on her mm. has been rehabilitated. Yes, mm. and, and, and given a better list of And will be given scholarship to go to Russia. So, so this, 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 kind, of, I'm telling you, this, this kind, I mean, this is, this is standing, <laughs> standing, to to injury. <laughs> you know, in my local parlance, they will say, you are standing goat on my, something like that. You are, you are, you are turning logic upside down. It should not be. If we get, like I said, if you can't love Nigeria more than this, mm -hmm. Governor Zulu has literally put his own life on the line. Of course. Several times. Of course. Mm -hmm. As, Asan show. is calling us from um, Lekki. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, Asan. Everybody. Good evening, Asan. Asan. Uh, please, um, about, I, I want to make comments about two issues. About Wiki PDP. Quickly. And Boko Haram. Okay. Go ahead. First of all, this Boko Haram issue. I see no reason why they should welcome them. Let me tell you what it is. How do you reconcile oh. with the people that were killed? How do you reconcile their mindset? Mm -hmm. People that were impoverished. Mm. 
and you expect the enemy to come up to their meat and this is hmm. the answer is a fucking no. And do you even know whether these people in the tactical way yes. of getting back to us in the worst manner? Mm -hmm. Boko Haram knows us, we just know Boko Haram. And we are not serious people in this country. Mm -hmm. You can see the software, the way they are carrying them. <laughs> they don't carry IDPs like that. Right, we right. are very, very unserious minded people in this country. We are first of us. Amen. And about PDC, okay? Please. The way I'm seeing up, we can only think alike when we don't think so much. All the parties, including APC, are standing via the money of government. And Wicked is the chief sponsor of PDC. He who pays the piper dictates the truth. Say it loud and clear. Let's hear some. Let's hear from Lucky. It should be a lot of It should be a lot of more chairman at all. Okay, let's just stay with this uh, so-called repentant um, Boko Haram people. And didn't you made a valid point? Look at the number of women there, and the number of what you confiscated is not commensurate to. No, no, no. They've gone to. No. Um, <laughs> I mean, busy several. They have businesses. more tanks. They've covered. They have more tanks. They to the have extent that they even had to go Boko down. Haram. Ayo, Boko Haram has APC, Amo personnel carrier. Mm. They use Amo personnel carrier in somewhere in Damboa mm. last year. They have mm. Amo personnel carrier. They stole. They even stole MRAP from us. Mm. Let them bring back all oh, those ones. Those ones. When we start seeing those quality mm -hmm. weapons, mm -hmm. and we will know that mm -hmm. the end of this war has even come, and we will all jubilate. All these ones are not active fighters. Mm -hmm. They are pushing women and children to us and saying, oh, so they surrender. These are not fighters. They've run out of resources. They've they, 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 they run out of resources. So they say, go, you go, oh, go. To let's let, let's go every day. Go to feed them is a problem. Exactly. Exactly. You know, exactly. they have now been reunited. Uh -huh. I swap and uh, the whole Chicago group. Now, you are, are, you are going to inflict a big burden on themselves mm. by lying or even all of this. So let government take that responsibility. So go, go, go. And mm -hmm. the areas where all this uh, surrendering is happening mm. is these areas that Shekau used to control. Mm. Uh, Mafa, um, um, Konduga, Bama, those areas. Not the lake Chad, the, the islands of the lake Chad, where the albanawi faction mm. has its headquarters that's so this is the thing these are hangars on so the we, we, we said they don't occupy any territory mm. in our where, the where are these people from? coming from exactly where let's you? ask that question exactly when people lie without even thinking where are these people coming from where were they keeping these people if they didn't occupy any part of nigeria if they are, they are not in control of as much as a thousand We've been saying that look, we've been saying for so long that there's a place called Timbuktu Triangle. Boko Haram remains there. We have been saying that the Albanawi faction they have their base in the islands of Lake Chad. Lake Chad. They are still able to plan attacks, they are still able mm. to move, run away, run mm. back to those places. Yeah, fish business. And we are saying they do not uh, <laughs> occupy any Ter part of the territory. Yes. So mm. People will know that the big contradiction. Yes, people will know that these are just lies. There's so many questions arising from this whole thing. So many questions. Mm. So many more questions than even answers. Do you know the number of Nigerians missing? That Boko Haram would have abducted that we don't have a, 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 the database to track. Certainly. If you are seeing people we just see resurfacing. We see our about Certainly. 100 Chibo girls. Resurfacing. Yeah. People just come in. We don't coming. know who is we where. We don't have actually. a central database, so we don't, we don't know, know who is where. where. We don't know who. It's just. No, it's a very vast area, so people have their this thing. As very large on government spaces. Yes, yeah, so they, they have their they have their bases. Mm -hmm. All right, Siri, Abaku, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for you. coming to the rescue. Thank you, and uh, PQ, thank you I so much. You. All right, and that's our package today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program.